But as they say about these things, it's hard to put a price on it when it comes to saving lives. So still a good investment, I'm sure, either way. Well, we had we had spectacular weather. So it's beautiful been fun day. to see all these stories that we've done with all the different sporting events and everything taking place. It was just a great day to be outdoors. A lot of people thanked me for the lower humidity, oh, low dew right? point. Yeah, it felt really nice Did out. Did you accept that I, thank you? I from always them? say thank you. <laughs> I, I always say thank you for thanking me, yes. So we are looking at fair skies that we had from the beginning of the day until the end of the day. It was just a spectacular one all across the region, but this is looking across at Sarasota Bay Camp showing the Ringling School uh, or the Ringling Bridge and it was just a lovely day. Sunny weather, that's what we saw throughout the day. That's what we're going to see for many more days to come. Warm temperatures and we get that east northeasterly wind and that's going to factor in for us because it's really going to help us as, as far as our temperatures are concerned, keeping them on the high side. So what we're looking at is we've got low pressure right here. That's producing the rain, the snow, the icy conditions across the northeast. And then we have this trailing front that actually came down into the state of Florida. And so this frontal system is pretty much washed out across our area. And we're not looking at a whole lot of anything taking place across the southeast because high pressure is prevailing here. And then we've got a little bit of rain and uh, wet weather across the northern plain states. So that's happening as a result of another low pressure system and a, a trailing cold front there. But we've had the frontal system here that's gone through our state. We're starting to see a few showers well to the south and those are being brought in by the sea breeze, but we don't have anything going on as far as wet weather here along the sun coast and we're not going to see any. The chance for rain is zero percent all the way through the morning hours tomorrow and we're not even going to see a cloud in the sky for the most part. So winds right now coming in out of the northwest and then they're going to start to shift around and come in out of the northeast tomorrow. That will help to warm us up over the next couple of days as we see these winds shifting around and everyone is going to experience it from the coastline all the way into the interior sections. And what we're looking at of course are winds have died down dramatically. We're looking at winds that are a little stronger at the beach beaches and as you move inland they're not quite as strong. This is true down through uh, Placido. We're looking at 14, 13 mile per hour winds and pretty much consistent winds all the way into the interior sections. That high pressure system sitting across the southeast, that is going to be our dominant feature over the next couple of days. It is slowly going to drift in to the western Atlantic and the frontal system that we're seeing right here is going to sink on down to the south and then it's just going to become diffuse. We're not really going to be experiencing much in the way of anything with that cold front and as a matter of fact down to our south we're getting some showers but they're going to dissipate as well and over the next couple of days you'll notice that most of this weather is going to be coming from the east coast moving over to the west coast a couple of showers along the east coast don't hold together and so consequently we're not going to see rain for this upcoming week what we are looking at are temperatures that are right now in the 80s and many places reporting temperatures in the mid to upper 80s even at this hour. 83 degrees was our uh, daytime high officially at the airport, 61 the overnight low, right where we're supposed to be, really a little cooler for the overnight time period. And for boaters, winds will be out of the east-northeast, 10 to 15 knots tomorrow with seas 1 to 2 feet and a moderate chop out on the bay and inland waters. All we're going to see this week is sunshine. Temperatures are going to be right here in the mid to upper 80s all week long. The best chance for rain may be on Sunday with about a 15% chance at this point. So it's going to be nice and quiet as we move into the month of May. Adam? 